to do more with angles both over to Boston. And in this video, we're gonna go over the top 10 things you need to know if you're thinking about moving to Boston. <laughs> This video, we're gonna talk about 10 things you gotta know about the city of Boston if you're thinking about moving anywhere here around the area. Before we get into that, as always, number two things. Uh, number one, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe below. Um, I put up tons of videos every week talking about life in Boston, different area highlights. Um, so if you just give me a subscribe below, you'll be notified uh, every time I put up a new video. And number two, if you're even thinking about buying, selling, investing, or leasing any sort of real estate anywhere around the greater Boston area, please give me a call, text, email, whatever pleases your soul. Uh, I work, me and Taylor work 24 seven in the area. Uh, so if you've even got thoughts about doing that, give us a call, text, email, and uh, let's talk. So let's get into today's video, which is the top 10 things you need to know about the Boston area if you're thinking about moving here. So. Number one is the energy. Uh, Boston has got a ton of energy. And a lot, I know a lot of people that move here from like the Midwest or California or Florida. And the number one thing they always are so surprised about is just how, thing, how fast paced things are around here. Um, yeah, we got a ton of energy. Everyone's always got a ton of things to do. Um, so unless you're from like New York City, uh, which is probably one of the more comparable places, you gotta be ready to ramp it up quick here with energy because things move fast in Boston. Uh, number two, uh, sports are pretty huge here. Uh, pretty big, pretty huge here, right? Uh, the Pats, the Celts, the Bruins, um, the Red Sox, obviously. Uh, if you're not from here and you're another fan, uh, you're probably gonna get some crap from other people, but just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, sports are huge here. We talk a lot about sports. Um, so get used to that conversation. <laughs> uh, number three, driving. Um, you've probably heard the expression mass holes before. That's a thing. Uh, Boston, Bostonians and anywhere around, anyone else around the area, we're pretty aggressive drivers. Um, so you gotta be paying attention all the time. Uh, use your blinkers because things get rough and rowdy and we don't mess around when driving. So uh, number four, uh, vacation spots. Um, so Boston's got a really nice mix of vacation spots around here, right? We've got, uh, for the more for the people that like the natural scene, we've got tons of hiking options. Uh, you can go up to New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont. Um, you know, you can enjoy all the different mountains, which uh, for hiking, biking, uh, skiing in the winter, obviously. We've also got a great selection of like beaches around the area, right? So um, in the summer, tons of people go down to the Cape. Um, where there's, you know, they hang out on the beach, eat lobster, all that good stuff. Um, there's also some beaches, uh, there's also a lot of beaches that are good, that are closer to the city. Um, you know, you can go up to the North Shore, um, like areas like Gloucester. Um, you can go to the South Shore, like Duxbury. Uh, but there's tons of beaches um, if you are a beach person and need that in the summer. Uh, number five, pet friendly, right? Boston has become a ton more pet friendly uh, within the last number of years. If you go to any rest, if you go to more and more uh, restaurants, breweries, um, tons of outdoor space that are more pet friendly. Uh, if you walk around the city, you're gonna see tons of dogs all around the area. So it is, a, it's a, it has become a much more pet friendly uh, area in general over the last number of years. Uh, number six, it gets cold in the winter. Now, obviously when you hear me say that, it's like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever, it gets cold. No, it, it's cold here. So for people moving from like Florida, California, like it is cold here from like November to like basically April, right? And by cold, I mean sub 30 degrees. We always, we get tons of snow, um, anywhere from like a number of inches to like two feet. Um, it is super typical. Uh, if you wake up in the morning at 7 a.m. to go to work, you're gonna be freezing your butt off, right? So you gotta buy a really warm winter coat, buy yourself some gloves or mittens, buy yourself a hat because it is cold in Boston. Uh, um, number seven, it is kind of a foodie's heaven though, right? Um, you know, there's uh, different types of cuisine all around Boston. The most famous ones, you, as you might expect, would be seafood, right? We got tons of seafood, whether it's lobster rolls, uh, shrimp, whatever, all that good stuff. Um, 
We've got amazing clam chowder. Um, yeah, so there, we definitely got the seafood covered. We have awesome, awesome Italian food in the area. Obviously, if you go anywhere around the north end, um, awesome restaurants, bakery, shops, all around that. And we've got a ton of other cuisine. We've got awesome American cuisine. We've got some, a, a lot of uh, good Spanish cuisine. Um, so all around awesome, awesome food scene around the Boston area. So if you're a foodie that needs a lot of variety, this is a pretty good city for you. Uh, number eight is the Charles River. Uh, so the Char if you if you walk around um, Boston as well as Cambridge or wherever else the Charles goes, um, you know it's obviously it's an obviously a great river. Um, you know we have a ton of like rowing on there. Uh, people always like to run around the banks and all that stuff. Here's a secret tip: don't actually go into the water. Uh, the water is not very clean. Uh, kind of uh, you know so. Enjoy it from the outside, enjoy looking at it, enjoy running around it, uh, kayaking, rowing on it, but try not to capsize if you're on the water. <laughs> uh, number nine, the city is very walkable. Um, you know, there's, uh, you know, depending exactly where you live around the area, uh, if you're living close to the T, you can basically get in all around, all around the major parts of Boston, Cambridge, Brookline, um, all that good stuff. Um, you know, if you're living in the core of Boston too, you know, you're usually gonna be within walking distance of restaurants, bars, um, uh, stores, all that good stuff. So if you are living in the core of Boston, um, it is a very walkable area. Obviously, as you go more and more outside the city um, and more towards the burbs, it becomes less walkable, but the actual, actual city itself and all the surrounding towns like Cambridge, Somerville, um, very, very walkable. Um, yeah, so that's obviously huge. Number 10, and the last one, is breweries. Um, it is a big scene in Massachusetts and especially Boston. We've got tons and tons and tons of breweries. Um, so for younger professionals, anyone for younger professionals to families, uh, to get older, older folks, you'll see them going to breweries. Some of my favorite ones are like Night Shift in Everett, uh, Trillium in the Seaport, Sam Adams in Jamaica Plain. I mean, there's a ton of other ones. If you literally just Google breweries around Boston, you'll get a fine, fine list that'll take you a while to hit. Um, so those are the top 10 things you need to know about Boston um, that are on my list. If you have any questions or comments, put them below.